Decision 2000. Florida is deciding the fate of the U.S. presidency. Tonight, something even more important. This contest is not for politicians, lawyers, or hanging chads. Welcome to Florida versus Florida State. If it's speed you love, pull up a chair. These gators and knolls leave only vapor trails behind. There's the quick and the quicker. If you worship power, listen up. As for intensity, nothing beats Bobby Bowden versus Steve Spurrier. And Chris Winky against Alex Brown. Sometimes this bitter rivalry even explodes before the kickoff. There will be no recounts tonight. Moments ago, here come the Seminoles. Led by their 71-year-old head coach, Bobby Bowden. So here tonight on a chilly northern Florida evening, the Florida State Seminoles host their rivals from Gainesville. Matt Munyon will handle the kickoff chores here tonight for the Knowles, and we are underway in Tallahassee against the Breeze. Big hop to the speed of Shepard. Scrambles back to his feet. And down at about the 24-yard line. So Rex Grossman takes the first snap, and who knows after that. And Gillespie is pounded in the backfield by that Noel. I'd like to see more of Jesse Palmer if he can do the job. Three wide receivers for Florida off to the left, and they come back running again with Gillespie. Gillespie in a foot race, and he is brought down at the 22-yard line by Chris Hope. The Chili's starting lineup. So already we have seen Mrs. Grossman and Palmer here tonight. Gaffney with 13 touchdowns. The freshman, Jabbar Gaffney, number 10. Keep an eye on him. That's a freshman NCAA record. The offensive line and the man to watch is Pearson, number 71. He has to battle Jamal Reynolds throughout much of the evening as they come up now with a third and 13. Split back look for Spurrier's Gators, and Palmer pulls it back. Gets great time, takes it downfield, incomplete. From behind, Ryan snaps off to the left, and he drives Thomas back to the 29 yard line. Cuts hard to the right for an alley. There's a penalty flag. A flag is thrown on this return. An illegal block in the back. During the return, illegal block in the back on the receiving team. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. It'll be first down. The basic eye formation. They want to study Travis Minor. Winky will throw it low on the first pass of the game. And it is complete at the 28-yard line on first down. Our Chile starting lineup for the Knowles. And you can see that Chad Mater, number 39, will be used at fullback in front of Minor and Snoop Minnis. Number 13, the go-to receiver. And here's your offensive line. Your key matchup is Brett Williams, number 72, working against number 13, Alex Brown of the Gators. Chris, with that sore left foot, prefers to operate back in the shotgun. Inside handoff, Minor, and Minor is hauled down from behind. During the run, five-yard face pass on the defense, five-yard penalty, it will be a first down. So our Chili's defense and Gerard Warren, number 61, with that great inside push. And Alex Brown, number 13, outside. Travis Carroll, the transfer from Alabama, the middle linebacker for the Gators. Speed at the corners, but they're a little short. Lito Shepard and Robert Cromarty are going to have to attack the ball hard. Up. So on first down, it's Minor again to the 40-yard line. And about four times is what we do down here. Second down in five, and Winky snaps it off, has the first down, and that is his fine young receiver, Anquan Bolden. Bolden works to the slot to Winky's right on first down. Winky looks to the outside, and it is Bolden again. Short of the Gators' 45-yard line is second down and two yards to go for the Knowles. Pulls out 
from under center has another first down. Puts it in Snoop Menace's hands, and you can hear the crowd chanting Snoop. A lot of quarterbacks should take whatever was in Ricky's IV. He's perfect so far. Play fake coming back, going for it. Incomplete. Misses for the first time. Second down and ten. The experience of Winky. Play fake. Gets time. And I believe that's Snoop Dennis at the 12-yard line for a first down. One of Bowden's favorite formations. Two tight ends. Power high and a penalty flag. On. Dead ball. False start on the offense. Five-yard penalty. First down. As he reenters the game with the play, he's off to Winky's left. Fake toss, and Winky wants him. Looks back for Snoop. Picked on, no, dropped at the four-yard line. Mater, the fullback, is in the block. Miner, an excellent receiver. Helps pick up Winky to the middle. Touchdown! Florida State strikes first. 17 yards to Atrus Bell. The outside, the right side of your screen, but Winky gets rid of it. And watch Bell go get it, swing across, and the ball lands on the ground. Great call by the official. But Simonelli adds the extra point after the Bell touchdown. And don't forget, Florida had a shot and a turnover. Before this touchdown pass, they could have come up with a pick. As Atrus Bell makes a quick move. Touchdown, Knowles. Timeout. They want it in Carroll's hands. Down at the 26-yard line. Looks this way. And have they ever turned out great defensive line? Keep an eye on number 58, Jamal Reynolds, 12 sacks. Allen is so good, so quick, he stays right in. In the nickel package, he can run with a wide out. Tay Cody, number 27, having his best year. Four interceptions already this season. 16-yard line, first down. And Jesse Palmer gets time, throws high. Caldwell, the second down. Straight back. And it is complete to Taylor Jacobs. Oh, that's going to be 15 yards. Dead ball, personal foul, late hit on the defense. Rand Carthon, Maurice Carthon's son, in the game. They bumble a snap, but there is a whistle. The linesman. Dead ball, false start on the offense. Five-yard penalty, first down. First down and 15. Complete to Gaffney. Second down and four for the Gators. First down, Gillespie, as the end around was at least shown. And yes, it is. Gaffney, Caldwell, Jacobs are all off to the right. Offensive line holds, and he's got it. First down as they cross midfield. Mike Pearson, the left tackle, number 71, did a tremendous job on the outside rush. More time again. Sideline juggle. Great catch inside the 20-yard line. Little out shake, but he's covered. Throw the ball up, and look at that catch. That is an amazing play by Gaffney. Just going up and turning something, making the play to move the ball. Beautiful play. To the fifth Gaffney to play for the Gators. First and 10. They've got the flare. And it's Graham. They're inside the Knowles 15-yard line. Graham's the running back. Gaffney and Caldwell are tight to the right as the wideouts. They flare a pump fake to him now. Come back to the right side. To the six-yard line. It's first and goal. And it Graham is the running back and here comes Graham to the five yard line and it'll be second down and goal is second down from the six yard line now Palmer quick strike no too far out in front of Caldwell here's third and goal for Florida trailing it by seven 
three wides are off to Palmer's left. Looks to the right, comes back, middle touchdown, wide open, the tight end Walker. All alone for the touchdown, and now an extra point away from a tie. Brilliant read. Jeff Chandler and a whistle before the uh, snap. Dead ball, offsides by the defense, contact. We'll repeat the try. And with this extra point, the Gators have tied it up against the Seminoles here as they march 84 yards, 11 plays behind the senior, Jesse Palmer. This the touchdown pass. A beautiful look to the right and a perfect spiral to the tight end in the middle. Timeout. And the kickoff into the end zone. And one Bolden takes a knee, and it first down and 10 now for the Knowles. Chris Winkie up under center, and they're going to try to get Travis Miner into the game and check that injured ankle. And he's swatted at the 23. Second down and six. Winky off a play fake, has all day. And now in a foot race is a true spell. Out of bounds inside the 35-yard line. An offense. So far. Florida defense hasn't been able to touch Winky. And they don't again. Wide open, Snoop Menace. 34 yard touchdown. And Winky puts up another six. Oh, yeah. Morelli nails the extra point. Not much rest for the Florida State defense. <laughs> a lightning strike from Chris Winkie and the Florida State offense. Timeout. Ready with the kickoff. Here comes Carroll from the 10. Down at the 22 yard line. Gillespie checking with his quarterback. Play fake, foot race in trouble. Sacked at the 15-yard line. Palmer fires. Gaffney's got his third catch of the night. And this young man on fire again. Something. His daddy was a good one, too, Jack. Derek Gaffney got movement by a tight end down here. Got himself. Dead ball. To the penalty first. start on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Said he might do it before this game. That's how big it was. After the five-yard penalty on third and seven, Jesse is back, snaps it off. Incomplete. To Gillespie, the running back. Bobby Bowden's already checked in with Bama on that. There's a nice high punt by Ryan. And a fair catch is made. From the gun. Gonna go long and incomplete. It is caught out of bounds by Alex Willis. And where's Alex Brown? No story so far in this game. Second down and 10. Travis Miner, and here is third down, the first third down of the game for the Knowles. Protection holds for Winky. Goes for Miner, the running back. Well covered, incomplete. Badly the Florida beater. Lito. Got it at the 39, and nothing doing. Great special team coverage. We just need to win. Gators with the ball at the 39. Palmer strike for a first down, crosses midfield. Caldwell is the motion man. It's Graham with a hole behind the left side of the offensive line. Three touchdowns in our opening quarter. The Knowles struck on two passes. They put the first one on the scoreboard. A truce bell from Chris Winkie. Then it was Jesse Palmer's turn. And he hit his tight end Walker. And then Snoop Menace all alone in the end zone. 14 7. Time to agree on something today, my friend. Second down coming up as we start the second quarter. Jesse Palmer. And he misfires with Wells, his tight end. Winds down. Dead ball. Delay on the offense. Five yard penalty. Third down. State's going to be in zone again. They back off Gaffney. Palmer to the middle. Intercepted. Cody picks off his fifth pass of the season for the Knowles. Got an alley. And he's wrestled to the ground by Taylor Jacobs, the wide receiver. 
but Florida State with field position. Travis Miner, the tailback. You can see Manuel of the Gators. Inching over, and they got pressure on Ricky. Intercepted. Picked off by Alex Brown. Alex Brown across midfield with an interception. And a few words for the Noel sideline. Sort things out offensively. That was an ugly series, that last one. Gillespie on the run, and who was he drilled at midfield by Derek Gibson? One of the hardest hitting for the second down and 12. Got Caldwell on the slant, and that's right at the first down marker. The Gators, third down and one. Gillespie, I don't know if he got it. He was hit right at the line of scrimmage. It's a long one if they snap it to Palmer. Line waits near midfield. They're going to lateral it to him. So they try to freeze the nose, drop it inside. Gaffney's down deep, tries to keep it out of the end zone. Uh, but it went in. He was standing back in the end zone. So regardless, it's now Chris Winkie and the nose, and Bolden slips down and makes the catch. And second down and four. To Bolden and Bolden is out to the 45 yard line. Yeah, elsewhere it could be the Orange Bowl. If the right things unfold, uh, they're still very much in the chase as Winky to the middle. Minutes makes a great catch at the 25 yard line. Yeah, Gary, they go airborne after a pass, and Florida was very aware of that this week. Winky again to the pocket, fires incomplete. Minutes was working out. Toss play to Miner, trying to get the short side. That is his way to the 21-yard line. And he's a delight. Third down. Winky fires. And intercepted at the 11-yard line by Todd Johnson, the safety fumble. The Knowles jump back in. They think they may have this. So what happens? Florida's ball. Florida regains control. studies the right side throws underneath to Graham the running back Jennings makes the stop and second down and six here's Graham and he's upended at the 25 and it'll be third down so only one of five with those third down conversions here tonight under pressure wide open Graham the running back for the first down at the 41-yard line. Trying to mount a drive here with 8.46 to go. Honor. Stepped up in the middle, and it'll be second down in 10. <laughs> That's tough, isn't it? Now Jesse's back. He'll flare out to the side again using Graham and nothing doing. This is going to leave him in third and 10. So we come up to third down and 10. Third and ten, McMahon was Florida State, just three-man rush. Incomplete, and Taylor Jacobs had to turn around running back again because of the injuries suffered by the Knowles last week. At the 20-yard line, here comes Maddox. 30. Wrestled down by Manuel at the 35. First down and 10 for Florida State, leading 14-7. Ball on their own 34. And Winky hits Bolden again at the 45. First down. Out of bounds. First down and 10. Pump fake now by Winky. Sideline and out of bounds. Second down and 10 now. Chris, a high school quarterback, switched to wide receiver. Here's Winky from the shotgun on the slant. Complete again for a first down to Snoop Minnis. Uh, he back in that gun with two wide outs out to his right. <laughs> Come deep once Minnis again almost intercepted. In fact, Minnis had to play defensive back there. Blitz doesn't get there, and he just drops it off to his fullback that time. He put it into Chad Mater's hands. Third down and five. Winky 
Lynch snaps it high and pulled down. First down, Walker. Nice grab for the first down. Be ready to play very soon. There he is on first down on a play action pass. Incomplete. Misfired that time. And Benny Alexander. Two running backs, two wides. Play fake. And Winky with a deep drop. Receiver covered. Now throws back. And incomplete. Incomplete. Needs to reach the Gators. 16-yard line. Off Bolden's hands and in. Uh, complete. It was deflected. A 46-yard field goal with Brett Cimarelli. They've struggled this year with this part of their game, and they struggle again. Well short. Nothing do it. First down in 10. 14-7. Lenoles still trying that running game with Gillespie and Florida State again with a three-man rush. Last time they got penetration. Reynolds is he's hit on the release. And Gibson almost picked it off from Gaffney as a result. And again, Mickey sets down three defensive linemen. And on third down, a deeper drop for Palmer. Waits for him to clear, throws to trouble. Double coverage there. Everybody else is reading the quarterback's eyes. Ryan's punt takes a hop, and Thomas is going to let it roll dead. Good punt inside the 15-yard line. 346 to go in the half. And complete with Bolden trying to pull away from Lito Shepard, who gets help over there. And there's a lot of big ones today. Bolden has already caught seven passes today and a cut by Miner in the hole to the 25 to the 75. He's saw him lead the Knowles out of the huddle there. Winky now pressure from behind and he gets it off to Snoop Minnis who's having a career here in the uh, first half. Gators show pressure. Now they back out. And they run and they won't run far. I mean the Gators jumped all over that play. Minnis toward the top of your screen. Winky wants Minnis. Got him on the slant across midfield. First down Florida State. <laughs> this guy's unbelievable. Play fake. Wants Bell. Might be interference, but no flag. Oh, the linesman was looking at it in second down and ten. Gators show blitz. Now they back out of it. They'll drop it off to Travis Miner, an excellent receiver. And Okendo Johnson runs him out of bounds. Stop the clock on the sideline that time. Need six. Frankie juggling Walker out of bounds incomplete and now it comes to fourth down and it's decision time half in Gainesville last Saturday an electrifying return on the run from the 17 not today a little bit different type of athlete doing a lot of motioning on the uh, to the two wideouts out there bringing Caldwell in motion and then doing what Gary suggested and the Knowles jumped it right now Tommy Polly. The Gators trying to avoid any kind of a mistake down here. Graham to the middle. So Florida State leads Florida 14-7 here. Both teams ranked in the top five in the BCS. The Gators with the football, good field position. Coming up at their own. 41-yard line, number seven, the senior Jesse Palmer under center here to start the second half. Their first, and Gillespie the runner, and again nothing going as Derek Gibson helps jump the line of scrimmage for the Knowles. Palmer and the Gators pulls back, high, incomplete. Crowd making it tough. Palmer does have time but he won't get the first down that way Jennings makes a strong tackle no yards after the catch the return this Ryan punt that's a beauty that is a beauty almost hung but it went on in Alex Brown trying to get some heat and they pass it over the middle they pick up six seven yards on that there's one of your future millionaires and uh, needing three. They got it. They break Travis Miner into the open up to the 49 yard line. The best run of the game. The Knowles have run for 37 yards and they get 23 on that play. Play fake from Winky. Deep incomplete. Lito Shepard all over. 
Snoop Minnis, and now a penalty flag. Pass interference on the defense. Pump and run coverage. Lito's in there, puts his right arm on him, and holds him, and you're going to get called for it every time. That's a penalty. His right arm was on him. 136 yards of receptions here. Ball is at the Gators' 36-yard line. A swing outside, now to Miner, who's an excellent receiver, to the 28-yard line. <laughs> Governor of Michigan, as I said. Here's Miner again. And now Travis Miner is starting to take this game over, along with Minnis. Miner's last two rushes, good for 30 <laughs> yards. Ball is inside the 20, and here comes 23 again. There is a senior from Baton Rouge. Second down and nine. Play with two tight ends. They try to come to run Miner again, sprinting out to the left. And written down by Manuel, out of bounds. Lito Shepard will take him one-on-one. -on -one. Here's your third down. Winky going to look. Go for him in zone. Incomplete. Pass interference on the defense. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. It'll be first and goal. See Minnis create the space. And then just as the ball's thrown, there you see it, he grabs him by the jersey. First and goal from inside the five. Don't bet against Miner. Here he comes. Short of the end zone, I believe. Right there, the linesman said. And then uh, they go with a power formation. Touchdown, Florida State. The old power Bowden's favorites. Florida State. And it's 21 7. Knowles. Timeout. The Miami Hurricanes still with something to say about this, along with the Washington Huskies. And now Carroll, the track sprinters, cannot find daylight. The Knowles jump all over him. He's down at the 15 yard line. Penalty is tacked on for the Florida Gators. Gaffney is off to Palmer's left. Palmer at the end zone. has got Gaffney coming underneath. Cody comes over manning him. But he's out to the 16-yard line. Lou Holtz must still be shuttled. Second down. And Graham breaks. First down. And that perhaps the best run of the night. We've got a first down now for Palmer. Changing it up. The crowd noise is a factor here. Not this time. Gibson, that safety, joins in the chase. Number six. Where's the tight end? Where has the tight end been for Florida? Palmer, down middle, got him right there. Good call, Gary. They go back, and now they're going to wave it off. Well, he has been so disgusted with himself. Walker's now in the game. Pump fake coming down toward Gaffney and almost intercepted. He threw to double coverage that time. Standing safety. Thomas is back. <laughs> University. Do you ever think you'd have a football field named after the family, Jack? That's great. Not Gators are down by 14. They could use a big play out of their defense. They run at Alex Brown. And he helps come off the block and helps bring the running back down. I think he sees Manuel sneaking up. Now he drops back. He'll go in that direction and throw too high. Benny Alexander, the defensive back on. Shepard at the 21-yard line and cut off. Still battling and nothing doing. If it doesn't work out, we might see Rex Grossman. Now he's just two of his last eight. And uh, sack, that's the first sack of this game. They flare it out, and they come back to the tight end that time. Face mask on the offense. Half the distance to the goal. 11 penalties for 101 yards against the Gators here tonight. Gillespie ducks. The 22-yard line, but not even close. Here's third down and 17. And Caldwell, but that's...
that's short of the first down. Another good punch from Ryan. The 19, Maddox spins, shakes loose, and coming hard now. Cut from behind at the 37, but that has stepped in there and played well, despite that painful left ankle. And Winky from the shotgun holds up again. Here's Bell, who scored the game's first touchdown. Run out of bounds. Well, Winky has thrown 302 yards now for the Knowles against this Florida defense. And, uh, movement down in there. And, uh, Offsides on the defense, in the neutral zone at the snap. Five yard penalty. It'll be a first down. So Rex Grossman. Yeah. Middle. Misfired that time to Bolden as Alex Brown was driven. Everybody's watching TV, aren't they? Second down and Winky on a sprint road. A menace incomplete. It's on third down and ten, and Winky back there in that shotgun. Great protection. He's going. He's got a man. Touchdown. Touchdown. Florida State. Snoop. 51 yards. Bobble snap on the extra point. So the snap was not on target. And Minnis with a career night. Eight catches for 187 yards. Last time they scored, they tied the score at seven. So they've given up 20 unanswered points. And now Rutliff looking for an alley. And he's out of bounds. David Jorgensen, the center down there, trying to get things straight. Call out the blocking assignments. Hunter fires Gaffney's got it right at the first down marker. They'll play Florida in Atlanta. Here it is first down after the Gaffney catch and a penalty flag stops the play. Dead ball, false start on the offense, five yard penalty, first down. Tonight Bobby Bowden won't call the dogs off. He wants to impress the BCS voters and the computers. Hunter steps away from it. Still looking for someone, still waiting, gonna come across middle. Reception at midfield. No, they're going to wave it off. That's what you cut right across this play, right there. And that blinds the receiver, Rache Caldwell. And yes, that was intercepted right there. And leading it 27 7. He's got Minnis out to his right. Comes back middle. Incomplete. And no penalty on this one. And seen all three yards. Second and 10. He's hit right in the middle of that time by Warren. So Steve Spurrier and the Gators will need a big rally in the fourth quarter. 27-7. And Alex Brown will have to pick himself up as Snoop Menace goes the long way. And Alex, like every Gator, is frustrated at what's happened. The Knowles lead it. Timeout. Winky and the Knowles who lead at 27-7. We start the final 15 minutes from the shotgun. Another great job by the offensive line. Tip away from Walker that time. Incomplete, and the Knowles will have to punt it away. Gators would love to get in, and they had a little penetration that time, but Patrell's an excellent punter into the end zone. It'll come out on the, on the redshirt freshman from Bloomington, Indiana. Steps under center here with first down as Steve Spurrier uses two quarterbacks fires complete and down at the 25 we asked Steve but he did not handle them all that well here tonight second down and three as Steve turns back to the redshirt freshman Grossman quickly back fires first down to Gaffney and out of bounds at the 39 and having to catch Steve not on the golf course during the offseason looked at it and decided to boot the young man down the middle got a man got him right away Alex Willis his first catch of the game, the middle was open up. Let the guy go down the middle of the field. So Grossman gives him a lift, and he pulls out again. Going to go in zone, but he got a cover man there. Incomplete. Gators need to strike. Grossman trying to change it up. Has five wideouts. Intercepted. Picked off by Cody, his second of the game. And take Cody, could break it. 
to the 16-yard line. A 58-yard return. Miners the tailback. Miss the wide out for Winky, who's under center. Here's Miner. Tripped up and down at the 13-yard line. Second down and seven. Here's Miner. And he battles his way to the 12-yard line. So the Gators man up on Minnis. They'll run it again. Here's Miner. No first down, and this should bring about a field goal, but they still got nine seconds. Winky's got the clock right in front of him. Fourth down. And they quickly, and there's the penalty flag on that shift. Dead ball, false start on the offense, simulating action at the snap. Five yard penalty, fourth down. It's a 33 yarder. State leads Florida 30 to 7 with 10:42 to go. It's not going to cost the team a lot much. A team like the Lions have got a young quarterback that's still learning. Could get a guy like this weekly and have two guys for the game. So Carroll battles back to the 30-yard uh, line. Not been a good football team. Coach has to be a little disappointed. It's a young team. Grossman back wants to throw that little screen and Graham. Breaks to the 40, out to midfield. So Ernest Graham. People like to talk about it, don't they? They sure do. <laughs> Here's first down. Into that middle again, using Ernest Graham for the Gators. Trying to get something going here behind Grossman. Getting good protection. Nice pass as he rifles it to Alex Willis. First down and 10. Three-man rush. Throws long and incomplete. And I want to tell you, measuring that one again was Cody. I think that Brock Berlin has got a chance to be an outstanding, outstanding Florida quarter. Second down now. Grossman sets, fires to the sideline, and Gaffney works it, and he's out of bounds. <laughs> well, they're doing it here tonight. Third down and one, running for it, and they got it. And Ernest Graham. To the 24-yard line and a Florida first down. Malcolm Tatum checks in as a defensive back. Pointing out a blocking assist. Here comes the blitz. Grossman going to fire against the gap. He was held up. And there comes the penalty flag. There is the penalty flag. Pass interference on the defense. 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. That middle screen to Ernest Graham dashes for the end zone battles just short of it. Just down at the one yard line. And now the penalty flag. Dead ball, false start on the offense, five yard penalty. Another critical penalty. 116 yards. Second down and goal. Grossman to throw for it on the field. No. Third down. Went right at Tatum, didn't it? Third down and five. Grossman goes the other way and almost picked off. Not a good pass. The crowd rocks. Tallahassee right now. Fourth down and goal. Short drop, fade, Gaffney jump ball. Incomplete Florida State's football. Grossman is called for picking up his hand and the five yards costly to the Gators and now are desperate to get that football back as Travis Miner slips free to the 10. And well, I guess from here it's up to you. <laughs> 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 State continuing to run on the clock. Bowden figures that. You know, it's interesting. The other day, right after this play, I'll tell you the story about Bowden. We'll let him take Here's Travis Miner, and uh, he slips out for a uh, first down on that play. Bowden and the Seminoles suffering their only loss of the season. Their only tarnish on the year. Travis Miner. And I dare say when they write the 15 yards, 20 yards, waiting for that play action pass, Florida State just keeps running the ball. 
Guys got to pull the hair with the biggest thing. Here comes the Montero. Slash first down again for Florida State as they uh, I'm way out here on the list. You know, I'm, I'm seeing what's happening here tonight as uh, minor fatigues around the clock. And you know, Gary, when Sun by Florida State practice, they practice hard. Continuing to uh, pound away at the uh, at the clock. Craig Rothberg, Roger Riley, Brian Mobelson. And now minor working on the clock. And our audio man team here is. Low snap, blocked. Gators have a chance. Scooped up and a first and goal at the nine yard line. It was a bad snap. And that's uh, yeah, first down here, yeah, folks. They have a lot of fun with these college football games. Here's Grossman. Grossman backing up, slant. Gillespie short of the end zone in this Mickey Andrews defense. This one's for Ego. Not to mention the BCS computer. Here comes Grossman. Claire Gillespie not going to make it. Allen was right there at the five yard line. Brian Allen and 27. That's amazing. He, I, when I played for the Lions, we didn't have 27 drop to the floor. Here's Gillespie. Can he make it? No. And number six, Mr. Gibson. He's got five seconds to try and stick it in the end zone. That's it. He didn't get it all. He was looking at the play clock instead of the game clock. He made a mistake. The Florida State Seminoles go to the logo on the center of the field and the tradition here in Tallahassee. And the war chant. And the Bowden Burial Ground claims another victim. It is now 52 games and counting without a loss here in Tallahassee since Steve Spurrier became coach. He is now 0-5-1 here in Tallahassee. It is 30-7. to 7. 